Leukemia is a type of blood cancer that arises in the bone marrow. It is characterized by uncontrolled accumulation of blood cells. Bone marrow is a soft tissue inside the cavities of our bones. It normally contains healthy stem cells that produce red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, etc. Healthy stem cells are therefore very critical for life. In diseases like leukemia, the stem cells inside the bone marrow multiply invariably. These cancer cells overcrowd the bone marrow, resulting in abnormal functioning of blood cells. Stem cell transplants can help cure patients suffering from cancers like leukemia, Hodgkin's disease and other lymphomas. For a stem cell transplant, a patient's genetic typing needs to closely match that of the donor. A patient has a 25% chance of finding a match within the family, that is, receive stem cells from brother, sister or parent. But 70% of the patients usually don't find match within the family and have to search for an unrelated donor. There are various dedicated organizations all over the world which contain stored genetic information of various donors. Doctors can approach the registries to find a suitable match for the patient in need of a blood stem cell transplant. All over the world, there are millions of donors registered in numerous international registries. But India has very few registered donors as of today, thereby reducing the chances of survival of any Indian patient by tremendous amount. Dart 3 Blood Stem Cell Donors Registry is a non-profit organization that is creating a donor registry in India to help save lives of several patients across the globe. There is a lack of awareness about stem cell donation. It is important that people understand the need and how easy it is to register and become a donor. Our mission is to create awareness and build a registry in India. Four samples are collected from each donor. Procedure involves rubbing the cotton swabs against upper and lower areas of right and left inner cheek. Your HLA typing is stored in the Dartree database. Donors are selected for any patient across the world through a donation process. A confirmatory typing is done initially by drawing a sample of blood which is sent to a transplant center or registry to ensure initial typing matches the current typing. If they match, the donors are tested for infectious diseases like AIDS, Hepatitis B, etc. at authorized hospitals. If this result is negative, the potential donors are then identified. At this stage, the registry and transplant center further evaluates if the donor chosen is appropriate for the patient undergoing a transplant. After confirmation, the transplant is done at any global transplant center on a chosen date. The donor is required to take an injection for 3 to 4 consecutive days. An authorized doctor and the registry give the required information on the PBSC process and ensure the donor's safety. The blood drawn from one arm of the donor is sent through a machine. Stem cells are drawn and blood is transfused back to the other arm by the aphoresis process. This takes about 3 to 4 hours. This ends the process and the donor is ready to resume work as usual. The registry transports the collected blood stem cells as per the international guidelines and delivers it to the location of the patient undergoing the transplant. In India, the chance that a patient can get a match-related donor from the international registry is very small because most of those donors are of Caucasian origin. It is therefore necessary that we have registries developing within the country that will have large numbers of people who have been HLA typed and are available to provide stem cells if needed for patients in this country. For leukemics, stem cell transplant increases the chance of cure compared to medical treatment. Unfortunately, 70% of these patients do not have a matched sibling donor to undergo this procedure. India still lags behind the West, reasons being we do not have a unrelated stem cell transplant registry yet. If we start a Indian unrelated donor registry for stem cell transplant, my guess is at least 40 to 50 percent of these patients would find a match 
and subsequently undergo the stem cell transplant. My name is Rajesh Ramanathan. I'm an IT professional, recently diagnosed for a relapsed uh, AML. Unfortunately, at this point of time, in India, we don't have a suitable organization doing the service or any sort of registries that we know of in existence. So we have to go to developed countries like US, Europe or Australia to find a suitable match. If in any chance we could have such a registries within India, it could help quite a lot of patients in curing this disease. I wish Datri luck, uh, all the best.